Hey, and welcome back to the Johnny Cakes channel today. One second, sorry. Hi there, welcome to McDonald's. What can I get started for you? Hi there, can I order a Big Mac? Um, what about a, what about a cake that looks like a Big Mac? Okay, I guess I'll just have some fries. Oh, uh, how about fr fry cake? All right, a vanilla cone. Oh, sorry, our ice cream machine is broken. That's a funny and original internet joke. <laughs> Cue the music. <laughs> So today we're making a Happy Meal cake. I picked this up last night at my, I think this is, yeah, this is not a cake. This is the one I picked up last night from McDonald's. So yeah, we're gonna make this out of cake and we're also gonna have some other cake surprises at the end of this video. So that'll, stay tuned for that, that'll be fun. Not me taking a bite out of this and then leaving it in this box overnight. Should I try it? Let me know in the comments if you want me to eat this burger. Getting started. I just saw that slide, that beautiful pink slide that said getting started. So I think I should be getting started. I made these templates. I really like to work with templates, especially if I'm making a square or boxy cake or, or a non-organic shape. Like this is made by like a machine. So we wanna get this cake really, really, um, what's the word? Symmetrical. Symmetrical, that's a good word. So I measured out the bottom of a real Happy Meal box and then made my template a little bit smaller. Why? because we're gonna add fondant to it. So the fondant will make us beefy. Beef, beef it up. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's so stupid. I, I'm giving, you know what I'm giving? And I just wanna acknowledge this. Like I'm giving like, I'm a kooky crazy girl. I'm not like the other girls. You know, like, oh, I say weird things. So I get that, I, can, I do annoy myself. <clears throat> so let me know in the comments if you agree. Am I annoying or am I not? Oh boy, okay, I'm on one today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these templates I made and we're going to carve out cake slightly smaller than the templates because we want a little bit of room to add ganache. So I've cut out two bits of cake and we gotta see like, okay, that is not tall enough, <laughs> but I really wanted it to be because if I add a third layer, it's not, it's gonna be really not tall. But the thing is, okay, here's what you gotta remember. I'm gonna add ganache in between these two layers and on top of this layer. So I think we'll actually get the height we're looking for. And you know what? Cake making is much like dating. Sometimes they're not as tall as you'd like, but you f them anyway. <laughs> so we always start with a dollop of ganache on our cake board. In this case, our template is the same thing as our cake board, which is great. You reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> so now that we've carved the cake, we have to stack the cake. So we're crumb coating this. We're really just locking the crumbs into this. Let it be known that McDonald's is really pushing apples. Munch on some tasty apple goodness. Baby, no. Baby, no. I will be eating the fries. Crummy little crumb coat, you're a little bad boy. You need to watch yourself, you need a time out. Crummy little crumb coat, you're a little bad boy. And it's a, this song is sung in around, so could we? Crummy little crumb coat, you're a little bad boy. You're gonna find a me when he na 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 na. We, got, we gotta work on the lyrics. <laughs> I'm like, it's around, you're like, you, I don't know the words. This is now a musical YouTube channel. You're a little bad boy. Oh, I feel like Britney Spears. <clears throat> Crummy. Oh no, she has a microphone here. Crummy. <clears throat> okay, we'll work on that. I've heard some nasty rumors on the internet that I lip sync my performances, which is so not true. For example, let me sing live right now. Chill break. That was not a lip sync. Chill break. It's a chill break. This is a cake I made when I was a child. It was a burger. I think I remember being in like the grocery store with my mom and you know, in the checkout, it was like funky cake magazine or like 10 minute meal magazines. I saw this burger cake on one of those magazines. I was like, I gotta try it. I made a burger cake back then. I'm making a McDonald's cake today. Do we change? Also, can we clock the Donnie and Marie Osmond <laughs> CD in the background? I think that's Donnie and Marie. Actually, I hope it's not. They're embracing each other in a non-brother and sisterly way. So I have some more cake that I'm gonna use to build up the top like peak of this cake. But first let's pick our front. I think this is my favorite side. So that means the peak has to go down like this. And then we need to taper it. 
So we'll put this roof on the top of our McDonald's Happy Meal, and then we're gonna take ganache and build it out. I'll spare you all the boring details. Just know we're going to be scraping, building, licking, eating, going solo with that chicken. This video not sponsored by McDonald's. I'm just doing this for free for them. It is sponsored by a local chain called Gertrude's House of Bacon. This is a business that doesn't exist, but it would be kind of cool if there's a bacon restaurant. All right, let's chill it and do it all over again. So I've chilled, frosted, chilled, frosted like three or four times. We have the basic shape of our Happy Meal box. Now here's the tricky thing. The Happy Meal box goes in on the sides. So we have to create this negative space by carving away at this cake. So I'm gonna mark on the cake the halfway point, okay? And then I'm going to draw lines from the halfway point to the corner. All right, so now we are just gonna follow these lines I drew and carve off the two corners of this cake. So now we're gonna cover up these exposed patches of cake. I stole this Madonna mic from when I was a tour guide at Universal Studios. Sue me. Sue me. Forgot to mention, I'm gonna chill this. All right, I felt like we were covering that cake and ganache for eons. Finally, we can move on to the fondant portion of the show. So anyway, we're gonna roll this out pretty thin and then start applying it to the cake. So we're gonna dust our surface in cornstarch. I'm gonna roll this out. The reason why this cake should have thin fondant is because we're creating the illusion of a cardboard lip, so. Cardboard is thin. We're gonna start with the sides of the box, then we'll build out the sort of lip that hangs off. All right, so I've got this square of fondant. My ganache is still a little tacky, so I think the fondant will stick to it. But just to be safe, we'll add a little bit of water. I got a paper towel a little wet, and I'm just gonna dab the side of the cake. This will make it so the ganache is a little bit tackier, and it will help the fondant stick to it. We butt it up against the side, and then we just kind of Flip, take our fondant smoother, smooth the sides, getting out all the air bubbles and imperfections. Because we're creating a box, we want really crisp and sharp corners. So I'm gonna take two fondant smoothers and sort of try my best to get sharper corners. There's a ton of excess, so let's remove some of it. And we'll come in with a X-Acto blade later. So we're just repeating the process for the other side. I went to a McDonald's recently and I got a Happy Meal. And you know how they have those like gendered toys, like boys toys and girls toys? Like you can get a Barbie or a Hot Wheels. So I was like, you know, an adult. And I went and was like, can I have a Happy Meal? And the woman up ringing me up front's like, yeah, she's typing it in. And she's like shouting out the order to the woman in the back making it. And the woman in the back yells, is this for a boy or a girl? And the woman up front goes, she looks me straight in the eye, she goes, it's for a grown ass man. <laughs> it's like, okay, don't need to call me out. So we're doing something called the paneling method where we're basically putting fondant on two opposite sides, chilling it, trimming it so it's flush with the cake. So that way we can add fondant onto the other sides. If I were to add the other like, you know, panels of fondant right now, they'd be going up against jagged edges and we want really like smooth, perfect edges for the next round of fondant. So let's take another chill break. Chill break, it's a chill break. Well that chills, let's play a round of F. Mary Kill, Ronald McDonald, The Hamburglar, or Mayor McCheese, I guess his name is. Ronald has a lot of energy. I don't know if I could handle that on a day-to-day -day basis, but he does have a lot, mm. He does have a, he's a big tall, mm. You know, he looks a little burly. He, there's something going on under there. Hamburglar is cute. Hamburglar is a bad boy. So he might not be a good person to marry either. Mayor McCheese, I don't know much about. But he's clearly has a great job. He's got, you know that he's got money. <laughs> but Ronald, you want to talk about money? Ronald it definitely makes more than Mayor McCheese. Ronald McDonald's has a house, the Ronald McDonald house. He has one in every city. So, that, so I'm gonna marry Ronald. I'm gonna F Mayor McCheese, I guess, and kill the Hamburglar, because he's a bad boy. I'm, I'm not gonna be a mafia wife. Absolutely not. I've done that, <laughs> done that already. Although Mayor McCheese definitely has a wife. So I think I'd be his mistress, his side piece. His uh, 12 side piece McNuggets. I could be that for him. 
So now that the fondant has firmed up a little bit, I can go through with my X-Acto knife and trim up the edges to make them flush with the cake. Mare McCheese. That is a ridiculous name for a mare. Get real, Mare McCheese. Your name is Johnny Cake. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked! Wait, that's so good. Johnny Cake's Mare McCheese. Johnny Cake's McCheese, if I marry him. <laughs> Johnny McCheesecakes, I think is what we would have to go for. The next part of this is a little bit more tricky. We're gonna create the flap that goes over and hangs over the edge of the Happy Meal. And in order to do that, we need to build it on my work surface, then transfer it to the cake already completed, already built. I'm gonna put down some cardboard here to act sort of as a something to rest for the fondant to rest on. It will be like a support. We'll pull that cardboard out later once the fondant sets in the fridge, but for now we need it there until it gets hard. Last thing I need to do before I chill this is just trim off the excess at the bottom. So now we're gonna do this on the other side, just repeat the process and I'll chill it. So now that we're done with the red part of the box, we have to work on the little cute M handle. I love this part. We're gonna use this as our template. We're also gonna use some of this like golden mustardy Fondant. Now the thing is we want, if we were to make this with just fondant, it would be floppy and flimsy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add something called Tylos powder. Tylos powder is a powder that when mixed into fondant makes it dry rock hard. So I'm gonna take my fondant and I'm going to sprinkle on a little bit of Tylos. Tylos Dramamine is Garfinkel Dramamine's brother. I'm gonna roll this puppy out really thin. So I'm gonna take this little handle and put it down as its template. And then I'm going to very gingerly use an X-Acto knife, a really sharp blade and cut around it. Come on, twinsies. This is what we call boyfriend twins. That's when two gay men look identical, but want to be romantic. <laughs> I hate myself. So I will never have a boyfriend twin. I'm also trying to recreate this smile on the front of the box, um, but I don't want to make that out of fondant because even if fondant is super, super thin, it can't be so thin that it looks flush up against a cake like that. So I chose the edible paper route. Wow, I'm so happy. All right, let's put this on. Now that I've breathed all over this, let's pop it on the cake. Well, there you have it, a Happy Meal cake. You know what, sorry, this is missing the most important part of the Happy Meal. Now that's a Happy Meal. Time for my favorite part. Let's cut some cake. Well, there you have it, a Happy Meal cake. I hope you ba da ba 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 loved it. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Make sure you like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Hmm, I think I'll have some burger cake. Oh yeah. Oh, I wanna be a kid again.